So we're at the WCU Rosa Experimental Farm this morning, and uh, we're going to be planting a UFO block here. So we've had a lot of interest uh, from growers around the world on this system and, uh, and locally, and there's been some pretty fundamental questions about how do you establish the system. So I just want to go over really briefly how we plant the trees. So we begin with, uh, with unheaded whips generally, which the nurseries can produce. Um, one of the keys is to not plant the trees vertically. Essentially with any other system, you're going to plant your trees vertically like this, and you'll go from there. But one of the ideas with the UFO architecture is to fill the space quickly, and that is the within the row or tree to tree space. And so we accomplish that by planting the trees at an angle. And so generally what we're going to do is plant the trees at about 45 degrees, uh, backfill the holes onto the root system, and what we're recommending now is to clip the trees to this first wire at this angle of about 45. We're going to get terminal growth on these new trees at the end, and that's going to be really important to keep, keep the flow, the transpiration stream running past through this column. So when, once we've got new shoot growth at the terminal end, later down the road, then we will be uh, subsequently clipping this tree horizontal, like so, to fill the space to the next tree, and we'll have our vertical uprights formed off this whip. So when you're planting the trees to the UFO system, what we tend to do in the northern hemisphere is point the trees to the south. Um, it may not make a big difference, but by doing so, we're, we're not exposing this portion of the, of the trunk to the hot sun. So we point the trees to the south towards the sun. Again, we put it at about a 45 degree angle. Backfill the hole, tamp the tree down, maintaining the, uh, the graft union well above the soil surface. What we'll do is we'll put one clip here to stabilize it to the wire. And then again, later in the summer, once we've got good shoot growth at the terminal end, we'll ultimately uh, clip this tree horizontal.